Hey guys, it's been an absolutely crazy weekend with all the news coming out of the Middle East with all the war tensions and things that are going on over there. It has made Bitcoin drop like a rock. Now, I sold out of my iBit uh, Friday morning. I, I don't know, something just told me I had a feeling that something was going to be going on. Uh, so I got out of iBit. Uh, it was a little bit before this, it was slightly above $40, and uh, I cashed in a pretty decent profit with that. Um, and since then, it has it has not been not been pretty. Uh, let's see here, Friday morning, so pretty much right at the peak. Um, yeah, it's Monday morning is going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the markets are doing with everything that's been going on. Um, and uh, going forward, uh, I'm going to be all ETF. Uh, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own research. Uh, of course, I'm still going to look into individual holdings and stuff and make videos for you. But for my own personal portfolio, I am going to be going all ETF. Uh, I've always said if I was going to start over, uh, that's what I would have done. And well, with my recent selling to pay off a bunch of debt and stuff, I figured now's a better time than ever to just do it. And uh, the way that I'm going to have things set up is uh, uh, going to have 17% in VOO, 17% in VTI, 33% in VUG, and 33% in VYM. I like VYM set up and stuff a lot better in ACHD now. I'm rocking all Vanguard. Uh, I don't know. It's like a, a mine thing, I guess. It's like I got all Vanguard ETFs, you know, keeping it all together. But yeah, uh, ETF here. I bit. I did sell out of that. It depends on where this goes. I might get back into it and just continue swing trading Bitcoin, which is something. If you look over the last uh, year here, like if you've gotten your timing right you've been able to make a quick buck or two off these because um, Bitcoin's got some really big swings in it uh, at times this thing can go up or down 10% in a day but yeah I was just wanting to update chins uh, that's what I did and uh, very quickly let's look through uh, VO, VTI, VUG and VYM together now if you are new please hit that subscribe button Drop a like down below and let me know, do you own any ETFs in your portfolio? I'd love to hear from you down below. Now let's go ahead. Uh, VOO, very popular. Uh, pretty much everyone knows what VOO is. This is the S&P 500 index. Uh, yield of 1.32% right now. It's got a total of 505 holdings. And if you look here, this is the top 10 and uh, the top 10 by weight. Um, and the sector weightings right there. I won't go through every one of those. It's going to be me blurting out a bunch of numbers. Uh, if you're interested in looking at this a little bit further, you can hit the pause button real quick. Uh, next up, VTI, uh, distribution yield of 1.01%. Uh, this has 3,701 holdings, and what this literally is is just the VTI Vanguard total stock market. This is everything. Um, the thing that I like about this, the reason I was wanting to include this, is this also has your small cap and your medium cap and stuff like that in it. More rate sensitive holdings and I think that those are going to do very, very, very well going forward uh, once interest rates finally do get cut. Whenever that may be. I don't know when it's going to be at this point, but uh, I think uh, VTI is going to do very well going forward. That might even do better than VOO uh, just because of all small caps that are inside VTI and how beat up it is. So I was wanting to have that just to kind of have the exposure to that as well. Uh, and again, here's the list, sectors, top 10 holdings. Uh, next up, VUG, the Vanguard Growth ETF. Uh, it's got a uh, 208 total holdings. Um, this is again top 10 list of those and the list of everything by sector uh, now I don't know when they're going to redistribute things around um, 
I don't even know if this is up to date now that I'm thinking about it. Because isn't Microsoft like the main top dog now? So this might be slightly off. And if it is slightly off, to pretty much switch Microsoft and Apple around. I just realized that. Because um, Microsoft's Apple, uh, Apple cap, market cap is now over uh, 3 trillion. Absolutely silly. But uh, either way, it just gives you a good little breakdown of things. Uh, I wanted this as my growth. Um, it's got a lot lower expense ratio. It's another reason why I wanted to go with Vanguard uh, over just the basic, you know, QQQ holding. Uh, as you see, your distribution yields 0.53% finally showed up. Uh, but that's another thing that I really like about these. Um, expense ratio 0.04% with VUG. We'll take a quick look here at VTI as well. Uh, 0.03% and for VOO we got 0.03% as well so very low expense ratios the reason why I really like the Vanguard ETFs uh, now next up we got VYM I uh, will go ahead and see if I can refresh this there we go I just have to click it again for some reason uh, distribution yield of 2.85 percent it's got 450 total holdings again it's the top 10 and the weight by sector uh, I really like this one going forward you know you got your your Broadcom, your Home Depot, Merck, Avvi, Chevron, Pepsi so you've got some pretty big hitters in here and like the bank stock to hold which is JP Morgan um, and again similar situation a 0.06% expense ratio so very very cheap there as well uh, there's one reason why I have the UG over QQQ uh, is QQQ is 0.2%, even QQQM is 0.15%, and over the long term, uh, you know, that 0.11% is going to add up over time. And uh, I just like the VUG is more diversified, it's got a lot, uh, a lot more holdings in it than QQQ or QQQM. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be rocking going forward. Uh, just all ETF portfolio, I don't think this is going to be a bad choice at all. I still think that I'm going to be market beating in the long run with this setup. Um, I'm pretty confident about that. And with M1 Finance, I'm just going to let it stick with those percentages and just uh, probably not do all at once like buys. I'll probably buy like whatever I in. I put in, let's say I put in $200 every two weeks, I'll probably do uh, $50 at the beginning and end of the week, each week, just kind of a really solid core uh, DCA over time. And you know, hopefully 14, 15 years from now this pays off greatly for me. Uh, now for my uh, Roth IRA, I still hold SCHG and I intend to just keep that as that is. Um, I think SCHG is uh, even less volatile than VUG, so I'm gonna keep that in there. That's my, I'm old monies. <laughs> it's still gonna have like 30 plus years to grow, so I'll start contributing a little bit to that as well. But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick little video for you. Uh, hope you enjoy that. Join me on this investing journey. And until next time, I hope everyone takes care. See you.